Okay, here's video solutions for the quiz we took on multiple step equations this week. So, number one, um, I already did the same chain switch right here. Okay, so first step is the distributive property. So I'm going to multiply the 3 times the 2x and the 3 times the negative 4. So I'm going to get 6x and then 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 and that equals 14. Okay, my next step is to combine like terms. So we know that we can co only combine on one side of the equation and the other. So if I looked over here on the left, I have an x term and a number term. Can't combine those. On the other side, I just have a number time. Obviously, that's by itself. So I can't combine like terms on either side. So next step is to check for variables on both sides. Well, you see a variable here on the left, but there's nothing on the right. So I don't need to move variables. So now I'm just left with the two-step equation. So I do opposite of the number, which is negative 12. So I do positive 12. Okay, they cancel. I'm left with 6x equals 26. And then opposite of the operation, I'm multiplying by 6. So I'm going to divide by 6. They cancel. And I have a fraction here that doesn't divide evenly. So I'm going to simplify by dividing both numerator and denominator by 2. And I get 13 thirds. Okay, number two, let's go ahead and do our same change opposite again. All right, I don't see any parentheses for distributive property. So I'm going to do combining like terms. So I'm going to draw my, again, line down the balance. And if I look on the left-hand side, I see three terms. So that tells me automatically I'm going to have to combine. I have an x term, a number term, and a number term. So I have two number terms that I need to combine. So I'm going to combine the negative 5 and the positive 3. So my 5x comes down. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. On the right-hand side, I have a x term and a number term, so I can't combine those. Whoops. All right. So I just simply rewrite them. 2x plus 4. Okay, next step is to check for variables on both sides. I have 5x over here and 2x over here, so I know I have to move one of them. And our pattern is to move the 2x to the left. So we always have our x's on the left-hand side. So the opposite of 2x is negative 2x. Okay, those cancel. I'm left with 3x plus negative 2 equals 4. And then I have a two-step equation. So opposite of the number, which is positive 2 on both sides, I have 3x equals 6. And then opposite of the operation, divide by 3 and I get x equals 2. Simple. Okay, number 3. Well, hopefully you notice that it's a two-step equation already, but if we go through the steps, you can see I don't have distributed property. If I want to combine like terms, here's my left side. So that's a, right there, that's a variable term. And I can't combine that with this number term. And then obviously on the right, I just have a number term. Okay, you'll notice I don't have variables on both sides, so now we're left with the two-step equation. So opposite of the number, which would be negative 1 on both sides. So I have negative x over 2 equals 7. And then opposite of the operation. So here's where some students made mistakes. They forgot that negative x over 2 could also be written as x over negative 2. So now when I multiply, I have to multiply by negative 2 because a negative times a negative is a positive, And that's how I'll get the x by itself. So that cancels with the negative, And I'm left with my x equals Positive times a negative is a negative. 7 times 2 is 14. So x equals negative 14. Okay, number 4, I do have same change opposite here. Okay, I do have distributed property, so I'm going to multiply the negative 2 times x and negative 2 times 1. So that's negative 2x plus negative 2 plus my negative x equals 22. Okay, combine like terms. So if I look on this side of the equation, I notice that I have a negative 2x and a negative x, so I can combine them to make negative 3x. Then I have my negative 2, and on the right-hand side, 22. All right, now I'm left with a two-step equation, so opposite of the number, which is positive 2 on both sides. I'm left with negative 3x equals 24, and then opposite of the operation. Same steps over and over and over. Practice will get you through this. Positive divided by negative is a negative. 24 divided by 3 is negative 8. Okay, number five, I don't have distributive property, <coughs> excuse me, 
Uh, if I check for combining like terms, I do notice on the left-hand side, I have a variable term here and a variable term here, and they're both x's. So I'm combining 2 with that 1. We can put that coefficient in front if we want. So I have 8 plus 2x and 1x is 3x. If I look on the right-hand side, I have a number term right here and a variable term there, and you can't combine those, so I just rewrite them. Okay, next step, check for variables on both sides. And you'll notice I have a 3x over here and a 5x over here. So our pattern is to bring the variable from the right to the left. So the opposite of 5x is negative 5x. That's a step. Those cancel. So I'm left with 8 plus. Okay, I have 3 and negative 5, so I have more negatives, and I subtract. We've got to get our integer operations down. So that's negative 2x. And on the right, I have positive 2. All right, now I'm left with the two-step equation. So opposite of the number, which is negative 8 on both sides. And I have negative 2x equals a negative 6, because I have more negatives, and I subtract. Then I do opposite of the operation. So I'm going to divide by negative 2. And I'm left with x equals positive 3. OK, number 6. Let's go ahead and do our same change opposite there. Notice right off the bat that you have a fraction in front of a variable. So you should remember that we have to multiply by the reciprocal when we're done. Other than that, this is just a two-step equation. So I'm going to do opposite of the number, which is positive 1 on both sides. Those cancel. I'm left with 2 fifths x equals, I have more negatives and I subtract, so I'm left with negative 8. And like I said just a minute ago, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, so I flip it. So I'm multiplying by 5 halves, and I multiply by 5 halves here. Go ahead and put a 1 underneath that if you want to keep your tops and bottoms straight. You'll notice here the 5's cancel and the 2's cancel. What really happens mathematically when we multiply by reciprocals is we get 1, and then 1 times that x would just be our x. Okay, on this side I have a negative times a positive, so I'm going to get my sign first. And then you can either multiply the top, 8 times 5 is 40, and the bottom, 1 times 2 is 2, so you'd have 40 over 2, or you can simplify first. So I see that I have an 8 on the top and a 2 on the bottom, so I can divide each of those by 2. So 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 8 four times. It's better to do this, because when you divide, you make the number smaller, and that makes it easier to do your math. So now I have a negative 4 times a 5, and that gives us a negative 20 when we're done. Okay, number 7. I do have same change opposite there. Okay, you'll notice I do have parentheses, so I have to multiply outside times everything on the inside to do the distributive property. So 3 times that negative 1x is negative 3x, and then 3 times 3 is 9. And I'm left with plus 5 equals 5x plus negative 7. Okay, next step is to check for combining like terms. And you'll notice on the left, I have an x term, a number term, and a number term. So we can combine that positive 9 and that positive 5. So that's going to give us positive 14. And on the right-hand side, I have x's and numbers, so I can't combine those. OK, I do have variables on both sides. I have the negative 3x over here on the left and the 5x on the right. So let's go ahead and move that 5x by doing the opposite, which is negative 5x. And here's where you got to be careful. That's a negative and some more negative. So it's an adding problem. So that's negative 8x. It's not subtraction. Okay, that's plus 14 equals. And on the right, negative 7. And then you're left with your two-step equation. So opposite of 14 is negative 14. And notice again, on the right-hand side, we have one of those negatives and more negatives. So sort of just get in the habit maybe of even putting and there. So you know it's an addition problem. Okay, then I have to do opposite of the operation, so I'm going to divide by negative 8. They cancel, and a negative divided by that negative is a positive, and 21 eighths is a fraction, and it's a fraction where um, no factor goes into numerator and denominator, so I can't simplify it, so it's just 21 eighths. Okay, number 8, I have a subtraction, so I'm going to do the same change opposite. I don't have distributive property. Uh, check for combining like terms. I have an x term and a number term, so I can't combine. And on the right-hand side, I have an x term and another number term, so I can't combine there. Okay, I do have variables on both sides, so I'm going to move that 2x by doing the opposite, which is negative 2x. They cancel, so I'm left with 2x plus 1 equals negative 7. And there we're left with our two-step equation. So opposite of the number, opposite of the operation. Opposite of the number, 
hops to the operation. Again, don't subtract there. Remember, it's a negative 7 and a negative 1. So now I divide by 2, divide by 2, and a negative divided by positive is a negative. 8 divided by 2 is 4. All right. Number 9. Okay, I do have same chain switch right there. Makes it easy when you make everything addition. No distributive property. I do have three terms over here, so we know we're going to combine. So which ones are we going to combine? Well, we got a positive 4 and a positive 1. So that's going to make 5, and then the 2x comes down. On the right-hand side, I have a number term and an x term. Can't combine those, so I just rewrite them. Okay, next step. Do I have variables on both sides? I sure do. I have a 2x over here and a negative 6x there. So I'm going to bring my variables from the right to the left. It's the opposite of negative x. Or I'm sorry, the opposite of negative 6x is positive 6x. Okay, I do that on both sides. Those cancel, so I'm left with 5 plus 8x equals 13. And now you're left with a two-step equation. Just be careful here. Generally, we're left with, for example, uh, our variable plus a number equals a number. But this case, we have a number plus a variable. So remember, when you do opposite of the number, find the number term. In this case, the 5, and do the opposite of it, not opposite of 8x. So that cancels. So I'm left with 8x equals 8. And now opposite of the operation, so I'm going to divide by 8. And I get x equals 1. Finally, the last one. Let's go ahead and do our same change opposite. And you do have to do the distributive property. So I'm going to rewrite 3 plus 6x equals 2 times 2 is 4 in their x's. And then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, combine like terms. Well, on the left-hand side, I have a number term and an x term, so I can't combine those. On the right-hand side, I have an x term and a number term, so I can't combine those. Next step, do I have variables on both sides? And sure do. I have a 6x over here and a 4x over here. So again, our pattern is to always bring the variables from the right to the left. So the opposite of 4x is negative 4x. They cancel. I'm left with 3 plus, that would be 2x equals negative 2. And there's my two-step equation, which kind of looks like 9. So again, we take opposite of the number term, which is 3. So it's negative 3 on both sides. I'm left at 2x equals negative 2 and negative 3 to so make negative 5. Now I divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get x equals negative 5 halves, and I can't simplify it anymore. So hopefully this helps you, and you'll, and you'll um, ace the retake.